All right, well, this is my Dillon 550C. I've, I've had it for a couple weeks, probably about three weeks, and I plan on doing a, you know, grand opening and, you know, going over everything and setting it up and stuff. But honestly, I've had I've had quite a bit of trouble um, with it, just trying to get the uh, powder measure figured out. You know, I mean, they come with this this powder measure here and. Um, I don't know, I had quite a bit of trouble with it. First off, I guess the, some of the screws weren't tightened up good enough, and the guy, I, I, which Dylan, their help desk has been really good, you know, they said, well, you know, tighten this up, you know, make sure that everything's, uh, you know, lined up, this and that, whatever, and I did all that, and I was still having some, some trouble with it, because the way you would think, and, you know, this is what I, I had, I had it, like, you know, lined up where this, um, this is the fail-safe rod where the fail-safe rod is basically you know perpendicular and then that puts the you know powder measure at about this uh, angle you know to the to the press but when I when I did that and I don't know if you can see very good on this but this fail-safe rod I mean it, it like binds up I mean I can't you know I can't push it it's like it's really hard to push it this way because it, it binds up so bad and then when you pull the pull the lever down with it over like this, you know, and it goes up, it, it hits right here. And I mean, you could force it on there, but you know, it's like it jams up right there. And I've just, I've been having a heck of a time with it. And uh, the only really position it would work in, I could get it to, to work right in, was this position with the bar, you know, at an angle. When you do that, you know it, it works. It works perfect. And you know, I was gonna, I was thinking, well, maybe this needs to be, you know, bent, or maybe it needs to be made wider, you know, somehow. This uh, connection right here. And finally, the guy, the last email he sent me back said, you know, to make sure that this is at a 45 uh, degree angle on both uh, both ends which you can see it is in this got quite and that that was what I was going to try to do anyway I was going to try to you know bend bend this down a little bit and just kind of make make more room here but I didn't want to do anything without uh, you know the confirmation from uh, you know Dylan manufacturing because I mean I've never had this press before it honestly doesn't give you real good instructions on this fail safe bar Basically, it you know they and I've watched tons of videos on these things, but you know basically it just says you know pull this down, you know pull this up, put the rod in there, you know blah blah blah. But you know when when you do that, if this when I when I pull it over this way, it doesn't work. It binds the rod up too much. So I'm gonna try to bend that out and see if I can't get it to work a little better. Okay, well now after I've bent the crap out of this rod right here, as you can see, I have the powder measure turned. This bar, you probably can't see from the angle, but it's pretty much, uh, you know, vertical now. And now everything is fine. It's not jamming up. You know, I mean, I'm still not sure about this, um right here but they've assured me that that's how it's supposed to work where that's bent in a little bit to where it hits on the bottom of that and then as you can see it just it just barely misses it on the there you go and this bar is pretty much straight and as far as what they told me this is the orientation that the machine is supposed to be in so I'm getting full full travel as far as I can tell on this powder bar I mean that's as far as it goes so hopefully that did the trick but you know it's it's really kind of crappy to you know spend the kind of money you have to spend on one of these machines and then when you get this little failsafe bar in it's not bent right so then you got to put it in a vise and literally bend the crap out of it to try to get it to work right but anyways that's what I had to do 
and it may be just because they're in a hurry and they've had to, a lot of demand and they've had to make a lot of these machines you know in a short amount of time and you know whatever I, I don't know but just in case anybody else runs into that problem with the Dillon I thought I'd make a video about it it seems like everything I get <laughs> I have a problem with it some sort of problem I mean you know uh, it's just it's kind of like I'm just kind of used to it by now but um, you know the guy from the customer service at Dillon I mean he emailed me back pretty I mean it you know it was about a day it took him about a day turnaround time to get back to me but um, and I emailed him you know three or four different times because honestly I, I wasn't for sure how the machine was supposed to work you know um, I didn't know if this bar was supposed to be slanted or whatever I thought well it should be straight but it wouldn't work when it was straight so anyways uh, this is a video so if anybody else has any trouble with this maybe this will help you out and save you from having to send four or five emails to Dylan or somebody else about it but so much for the video and then maybe I'll do a proper video on the Dylan uh, as soon as I can get it fully completely up and running which I think I have now so thanks for watching everybody hope you're doing well and we'll see you on the next one